This is a simple introduction to the Recolor Artwork tool in Adobe Illustrator. So I have some artwork here and I'm going to select it. We can see it's a group of art. And then to recolor, go up to the Edit menu, Edit Colors, and Recolor Artwork. Now the Recolor Artwork panel is pretty big and it looks complex. So I'm going to just close down this right hand side so we can focus a little bit more on what we have here. The Recolor Artwork panel has two basic areas. The Assign area here with color bars and then the color wheel under the Edit side. I'm going to go back to the Assign side. And on either side you can see there are a row of color swatches here. These are the colors that Illustrator has detected in the selected art. So it detects this, whether this is a pattern fill, a gradient, or a regular solid fill. All of the colors are now placed here at the top of the Recolor Artwork panel. And then below, we have a set of color bars. And what these basically mean is this, these wide bars are the before of recoloring, and these narrow bars here are the after. So this is before and after recoloring. Of course, nothing has changed now because we haven't done any recoloring. Now, one typical use for recolor artwork is to reduce color. So say I have this very colorful art. It's got, as we can see here, eight colors currently. And for the particular printing job I'm going to do, I really have to reduce the color to three. So I'm going to go over here to Colors and choose three. And now Illustrator has combined the colors in the artwork onto three rows here and recolor them into these three new colors here on the right hand side. Now Illustrator isn't doing this randomly. There is a method here. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this so we can see. If I go up here to this little eyedropper icon here, this kind of resets everything to the very beginning. So I'll click on that and now we're back where we're starting. Then I'll go over to the Edit tab and we can look at the color wheel here. So Illustrator is using color theory uh, in reducing these colors here. And we can see all of these cool hues are related to each other over here on this end of the color wheel. And then we've got these three here and this red all by itself here. So this is how Illustrator is choosing to reduce this very colorful artwork into just three colors. And it's choosing a representative color from each of these areas here. And of course, the red is just going to stay red. So if I go back over to the Assign tab and once again choose three, we can see here we've got the red changing to red. And then all three of those colors that are somewhat related to each other on the color wheel are changing to a representative color, this sort of a uh, light olive color, and then all these cool colors are being changed into blue. So now you have some control over this. You don't have to do just what Illustrator does right out of the gate. You can take one of these colors here and then drag it to another color bar. So this means that anything that was previously teal along with all, everything that was previously red will be changed into this red color here. Now I'm just going to move this back because I want to go with the way Illustrator has chosen to do it. So what we know here is that these color bars are wide to accommodate multiple colors in case we're doing color reduction in recolor artwork. Now this row of arrows here, what this means is will these colors be recolored or not? This is kind of like a formula. So we have these colors will be recolored into this color. But I can click on this and remove that little arrowhead. And what that's telling Illustrator is that no, I don't want these colors to be recolored. I want them to stay exactly as they are in the original art. Okay, but this is toggling, so I'll just turn that back on. And then in this row here, we have the new colors, the colors that Illustrator is going to be recoloring this artwork into. And we do have some control over this as well. You can see these little menu indicators here. I'm going to open that up and move this over so we can see this better. So these rectangles are divided into just two halves here. So the top half, what this means is this is the color that will be in the new art. And then this right here indicates the colorization method. Currently, that method is scale tints. That's what's happening here by default. But we have all these other options. I can choose exact just to make this a solid color. And if I click over here in the empty area, you'll see the effect of that here in the artwork. So I've removed any tints and we just have flat, solid, colors. I'm going to go back to scale tints. So these are all really interesting options to explore. And if you leave this box here unchecked, you'll have all of the options available to you. If you uh, check it, then some of these options will be grayed out because we're dealing with spot colors, which is a whole big topic that we're not going to get into right now. 
This checkbox here just sets it so that this setting that you choose here will apply to all of the new colors. So back to scale tints. Now I'll move this aside and if we're evaluating this art, this checkbox is really important right here. You can just uncheck it to see the original art and compare it to the change. Now if we want to, we can go back to this menu here and choose another number of colors here and you can see that the rows expand or we can go back to three. So there's a lot more you can do and explore here. All right, so we've reduced this formerly eight color art to three color art and so I'm going to click OK and that completes the process of recoloring the artwork. So this has been a simple introduction to the recolor artwork panel in Adobe Illustrator.